Hello everyone, and the Miss by Analia, Analia Raven here, and I am just going to be doing some, um, a little bit of candle preparation. I've been feeling really magical tonight. I've been feeling that full moon energy all day long and all night, and I've just been really inspired to create and create and create and create. Um, so I'm going to show you how to prep this. Well, this is how I do it. Um, I'm going to be charging this under the full moon tonight. And then it's going to... My intentions for this candle is going to be kind of like um, a goddess candle. Um, a lunar candle. And I'm going to charge it under the full moon tonight. And then I'm going to wait until the 31st for the blue moon. And then... Um, charge under that one as well and I only like this for divina divination purposes only and um, yeah so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, take this ink pen um, and poke some holes into it I'm gonna heat it up first so it's easier to put the metal part into the wax I already poked one so I'm gonna poke um, three more so it just makes it really easy to kind of get the oil and all the herbs that I'm going to be using down there and it's okay if it comes off like the metal part will come off because it'll cool down in the wax I could just get in there and get it out um, and then I'm gonna put it back on there so I can poke some more um, I would have like a longer utensil to get further more in there, but um, this is all that I have right now. And it's okay to kind of be creative with what you have. So, and you want to get, um, I like to go in groups of three. So I have three in there. I'm going to make either six or nine holes total. So in this candle. So, um, just wiggle it on out there. Some forward. Just all the way around the wick. And don't try to get the holes um, too close to the wick because then whatever you put in there, like the herbs and um, the oil that you put in there, is going to um, interfere with the flame and how it burns and that's really important when you're doing candle magic is to always pay attention to how the candle burns and because then that will signify how your spell or ritual is going or divination is going okay so I'm just going to do six because that's right now I only have enough room for six um, And it's kind of neat how this kind of like makes half moon holes. So I don't know if you can see. So, yep. The sixth one is clear because this burnt, the smoke kind of like left a residue of black. So then I can clean this out, clean off all the other wax if I want to. Get that all out there. And then um, I have this lotus oil that I created. This is just how to use it. Um, you can use this for body oil. And um, I created this for Christmas gifts or Yuletide gifts. Um, and I thought I called it goddess oil. And it's from uh, lotus essential oil and grapeseed oil. I can get this open. In this bottle, I just reused this bottle. Um, my some of my friends do vape vaping, and so I wash this bottle out. They let me have the dropper bottles, so I wash it out and then reuse it. And so I like to condition my hands first, just to kind of like get the intention on my hands, and then oh, this smells so good. Um, and I'm just gonna. Bring the energy down into the candle on the glass, and I love these kind. I love working with these candles particularly because you can write 
um, your intentions on the side. I am probably not going to write anything on here, or if I do, I might make um, a moon, moon symbols on here, or different symbols of the moon from other um, cultures that I draw from, or traditions I draw from. So I just like to condition the candle first, get it prepped, and uh, I do like using uncrossing oil also because it protects it from unwanted energies that I don't want in there. And it also protects me because there's a lot of magical workings going on tonight, specifically tonight because it is the full moon, it is the first of the year, and it is a super moon as well, and this is the first one in the first full moon of the month of two. There's going to be one on the 31st as well. So there's going to be a lot of magical workings tonight. So I just kind of want to give it some extra protection of, so it doesn't have interference with any of the other energies that's flying around tonight. Um, so you just focus your intention into the candle. And for this one, I'm making it a lunar candle, a full moon candle that I can use for light every time I'm doing divination um, or whenever I need that extra lunar energy I can use that just a blessing from the goddess and from all the messages that are being received tonight for me okay and protect this candle from unwanted energies so, I want to energies. Okay. And then I'm just going to get some. You don't need a lot to dress these candles. Um, you just need a little bit because you don't want to overpower the flame once you light it. So, you just need a little bit, maybe like a drop or two. Let me just get a little drop. I don't have a dropper for this one. Just a little drop, but okay. See, it's a little drop, and you just massage it around. Don't afraid. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Massage it around. Get it into those holes. And let all unwanted energies. Flying around tonight, let them pass on through. Let them pass on through. Away from my intentions, away from my magic for working. Okay. All right. So, and then get your goddess oil, lotus essential oil for the moon. I'm going to add three. six and just go with what you feel I know I'm covering my face is necessary okay. and just work that down into the candle and if you are called to use certain herbs then go ahead I'm not going to at this time because I'm just going to let the moon and this oil do its job. Okay, let's see. See, nothing is like liquid in there because it's all soaked into the wax of the candle. So you're not like having an inch or like all of this being filled up with oil because that would interfere with the burning of the candle. You want it to be completely absorbed into the wax and just a teeny bit on top because that's, you know, can't really escape a little bit on top. Okay, I'm just gonna smear that off. all of that on there. Um, and if you do end up having a little bit more than what you need on there, like if you're going like this and you can see it swirling around in there, you should probably soak some of that up or else your whole candle could be 
on fire <laughs> and that'll interfere with the reading of how your ritual is going. Okay. So, and this is something simple you can do. Um, for full moons, um, I typically don't really do the Esbat ritual, you know, with the blade and the chalice. I don't really do that. I don't, I don't know if you, oh my god, okay, <laughs> apparently somebody in their big truck wants to come around and be, you know, a lunatic. <laughs> that was that noise, so someone in their annoying truck. But anyway, so moon work is very simple to do. It could be very complicated or it could be very simple. You could go off and do a ritual bath if you want, just in honor of the full moon, or you can just simply light a candle or do something small. You can do divination. I typically like to do divination on full moons. And, um,. But normally I don't really celebrate the Esbat ritual, or do the Esbat ritual, simply because I think of it, the full moon, as like a working night, meaning I think of it as, you know, this is a time where you can get all of your um, magical tools or um, altar items and cleanse them and empower them under the full moon and really get all of the negative energies from the year, this is, or from the week, month, sorry, from the month off of them um, with you not having to do a consecration ritual. Um, and also, I think that full moon energy is useful for people like myself who don't really want to work. I don't want to say work is hard uh, when you're doing witchcraft or anything, but who really don't want to who just allows nature to do the work for them, I guess I should say. And, um, I don't know, I guess with past moons, I haven't really felt enough energy to do much of anything. But this moon, it's the first of the year, like literally it's the first of the year. And I don't know about you, but I don't think that really happens so often. And so I've been really inspired on doing some magical workings and getting all of my altar tools out there and getting them all cleansed and consecrated by the full moon and um, really starting off the new year with a with my witchy steps forward and um, that's part of my new year's resolution is too is to focus more on my my craft instead of worrying about my job and you know the mundane aspects of the universe <laughs> But really focusing on honing my skills as a witch um, because or not honing them but because I've been honing them like all all my life but practicing them because for some reason I have been um, holding back a little bit because I haven't been really confident in my knowledge I've just been relying on books and relying on what I've already gotten from past studies and always keep on I always keep on looking things up but I don't really trust in myself to know that knowledge if that makes any sense I hope I'm making sense but um, I guess it's time for me to practice my knowledge instead of keep on looking up just I need to trust myself and put my witchy boots forward and start practicing instead of always looking up the information that I already know. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else has done that or is doing that currently, but um, I do. I have that problem where I just have to keep on looking up what the elements mean, even though I know I know. I mean, I've been practicing for over a decade. I should know this by now. but. You know, trusting and having confidence in yourself is key to magic. And I think I'm ready to, actually, I know I'm ready to put all of my study to practice. And um, 
Wow, this moon has really revealed some stuff for me. <laughs> it's only been like a day. I guess I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and be, um, and have clarity. So, yeah. I guess this uh, simple candle ritual or spell preparation revealed a lot and hopefully all of my intentions of trusting myself and my power goes into it as well as, you know, using this for divination and knowledge and gaining knowledge and gaining guidance. And I hope that the new or the full moon brings you messages that you need to know. And may all of you have a blessed evening and I'm going to be uploading another video soon about how I created, um, well not how I created, my um, charms divination system, but um, how I put it out in front of the full moon and I'm going to give you guys a shot about, of the full moon from my back porch and what I can see. So hopefully um, this the full moon inspires you to put your witchy boots forward and to trust in your own knowledge that you've already gained and actually put it to practice. And I may all of you stay witchy and magical and blessed be and have a blessed evening and I hope your new year is awesome as awesome as mine was.